Welcome back everyone to another episode of Vegetarian Cooking with JJ. Today we're going to be making a Thai coconut carrot soup. It's going to be a gazpacho soup. Another easy recipe that you can just blend up in your food processor. Or if you have a Vitamix, it's even better. You can just pulverize everything up nicely and have it ready to go in no time. I hope you've been enjoying the videos and all the recipes I've been sharing. Feel free to drop me a line down below and let me know what recipes you have tried so far. One thing to note about the Thai coconut, if you're too worried to cut it up yourself, if you're worried you may have a whoopsie and you don't want to take the risk, you can find the coconut meat in certain stores. I have found it in the plastic, uh, what do you call it? I have seen it in the vacuum sealed plastic. It may come in other forms as well. It's most likely you'll find it in an ethnic uh, grocery store or somewhere like Kensington Market. But I'm going to use the real Thai coconut. I have a cleaver that will cut it up nicely. I haven't done it for a while to be honest for myself. Usually I'm just using the coconut milk in the can but we want the coconut meat for this soup, okay? So it's gonna be fresh, delicious, nutritious, comforting but not too heavy as well. This is the delicious Thai coconut carrot gazpacho we're going to be making today. Let's head over to the kitchen and get cooking. So here's our young Thai coconut and I had the cleaver and we're going to cut along using the base of the blade here. It's been a while so bear with me. I had to do some adjustments around here because to be mindful of my surroundings when I'm doing this. <laughs> And some people can do it really fast. I'm just being on the careful side. It's been a while, so. It's not a race, so. Well, it's getting through. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, we got it. We just have to fish out some of the pieces, but it's all good. Just gonna grab my bowl here. Now we'll just take our spoon and you'll see how easy it is to just. Scoop it into here. We'll get rid of any hard shell that makes its way in. So I just have to pour out the coconut water here so I can scoop out the coconut meat. You can drink this if you like, or you can even incorporate it into the soup as well. So we'll just do it in such a way that we don't spill it everywhere. Can I do it? We'll see. Okay, there is some spillage. Not Nothing too serious. <laughs> there we go. And I just personally feel like drinking this. And I may share some shimmy, we'll see. <laughs> There we go. Now it's coming along. Don't worry if there's a few pieces of the inner coconut. It's kind of like a nut, so you don't have to go too crazy about that, depending on how picky you want to be. I'm going to pick it out though. Just, well, as much as I can. Mm. 
mainly you will want to make sure any more fibrous, thicker pieces of the that come out. Just if you want your soup to be smooth. These are the ingredients we're going to be using for the rest of the content of the soup. The green pepper is optional addition. I just put the young coconut in the food processor container to get it ready to go and I'll be adding things as we go. So we're going to start with peeling our carrots here. It's personal preference if you want to keep the peel on. I'm just going to give the carrots a chop just to make it easier on the food processor. It doesn't have to be great knife skills here since it's all going to be blended up. I'll just toss that into our food processor container. I'm just going to dice up a little bit of onion. We don't need a whole lot of the onion. We're making a smaller portion, really. Uh, this should be enough. And again, it's all gonna get blended up, so you don't have to go crazy. So this amount of onion is good. And I'm gonna go for that amount of ginger. I'm using fresh turmeric, but you can use a powdered kind if you wish. We're going to do, just do some microplaning. If you have a Vitamix, you can just skip this step because everything gets nicely pulverized. I just want more of the flavor to come out, so I'm making sure with this microplane, it creates a nice puree out of our ginger, garlic, turmeric. With the fresh turmeric, keep in mind that your hands may turn a yellowy orange, so <laughs> and you may want to tend to that right away or um, use some sort of oils to get it out. I pre-peeled them as you can see using my little spoon technique that I demonstrated in one of the other videos or a couple of other videos. The fresh turmeric looks like ginger, but it's generally skinnier. Wow, look at that. Ooh, look at that color. It's popping. So we'll just go ahead and put our onion in with our carrots. It's up to you how flavor popping you want this to be, depending on your taste buds. <laughs> And we're going to be adding some water to this, so don't worry. I'm going to add one Thai chili. This is going to go in the mix. I'm using the seeds, so we keep it a little bit spicy. It's not going to be too spicy, though. I'm reserving the other chili. And we're reserving the other Thai chilies for myself. <laughs> I like it a little more spicy. So this will just give it just a nice touch of spice. If you're not used to spice, um, you can try a milder pepper like serrano, a serrano chili pepper. We'll just put this in with the processor. And don't touch your eyes, okay? If you're not used to handling peppers, like I said before, you may want to use gloves. My hands are yellow. See? I don't know shows up well on the camera. I'll fix that later. So we're going to use half of an avocado in this gazpacho soup. And just scoop it out like so. I'll just quarter it. <laughs> That's good enough. The food processor will take care of the rest. Here we go. I washed this beautiful Thai basil that I grew here. 
I got the little Thai basil plant and kept it going and spread it out amongst uh, other little pots so some fresh Thai basil we're using. I'm just going to chop through the stems because I want to make sure that the stems, there's no long stems in, in there. And the stems have the flavor too. And some herbs or stems are rather woody, so you kind of want to avoid that. Of course, with the woody stem herbs, you can use them in your soup stock or, uh, or soups and take them out afterwards to infuse the flavor. As for this green pepper, I'm going to save this one, thinly slice it up and then dice it up so we have the little tiny pieces to sprinkle on top at the end. It will be quite nice to add extra vitamins. That's an optional addition. So before we start blending away here, I'm going to just put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in. One. Two. I'm going to put some salt, sprinkle some in. I'm going to put some black pepper. It's just me and Shimmy, so I'm adding the coconut water here. This is about three quarter cup. This is not all the way up to the top. And I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I would be more careful about germs if it was cooking for other people. <laughs> so here we go. One more cup of water. We're gonna blend that up and see what the consistency is like and adjust it as necessary. Add some more water. So place this on. Ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna just scrape down the sides and uh, make sure it's smooth and that kind of thing. I think I'm going to leave it like that. It's smooth enough for me. <laughs> Whether or not you want to chill this first before serving is up to you and the people that you're serving, what their preferences. I'm going to just chill it for about an hour just so it's nice and fresh for this hot weather. So I'm going to try to carefully <laughs> pour this into here. Let's see if I can succeed without making a huge mess. Okay. Maybe I better take this out. Less components to worry about. Ready for it. <sighs> this is nerve-wracking. Okay, there we go. And then one more container here. There we go. Nice. And it just taste test it. Is it full for this? Ah, oh, gently put it in the fridge and be careful. <laughs> so our gazpacho is just about ready and we're just going to do the finishing touches here. We're wanting to get the brunoise uh, cut for the green pepper. See how it goes. Gordon Ramsay isn't going to be judging us or any other pro chefs, or I hope not. <laughs> Keep your judgments to yourself, you pro chefs. Okay, that should just be enough for a garnish. And a little snack. I 
I thought that some lime juice and some maple syrup would uh, balance out the flavors very nicely. So this is what I'm adding. Moment of truth. Mm -hmm. Nice. That lime and the maple syrup really made good finishing touch for this recipe. It has a little bit of spice, not too much. You could always top your own if you're a spicy one like me. You can make it mild for the others and then add your own spice at the end. If you enjoyed this recipe or enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form, hit that thumbs up button. Remember to comment below and subscribe. There's going to be a new video every Monday, new recipe as well. <laughs> Let me know how your cooking journey is coming along. Is there more? Bon appetit. Yeah. Sweet. It's gazpacho. Gazpacho. The soup is cold.